Okay, today we're in the front bedroom here, like the master bedroom, and we're doing the ceiling. We're putting plasterboard on the ceiling, and we're gonna tape and joint the uh, plasterboard rather than skim the ceiling. And we're just, Zolly now is trying to find the beams so we can draw a line. We know exactly where the plasterboard's going. Okay, we're about halfway with this plasterboard. So we'll have this done by the end of the day. Get rid of this horrible Artex. We do have a small problem here. Where there's a leak down the valley. This part here is a dormer. Well, a dormer without a window, so I don't know what you'd call that. But the rest of it's dry in there, other than this bit down, down the valley. Um, but we've got some scaffolding coming tomorrow or Monday and we can get up and have a look and see what's, what's going on. Okay, the ceiling is done, boarded out. Now we've just got to get the uh, jointing compound and scrim and let's get that Let's get it skimmed. So I wasn't actually going to show you taking down any more of this from in here, but it's actually quite quite satisfying taking it down. It doesn't probably come across in the videos because I think I did a time lapse actually. I'm sure I set it off as a time lapse, um, but it's actually quite satisfying until until you get. Can I get these up here? That there. I think it's okay. I'm hoping. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the rest. But to be honest, um, got a little bit more to do. But with the time I've got left today, I do actually need to get some food in. So yeah, stop for today. We've tidied up, and um, yeah, we will continue. We will continue.
Okay, Saturday morning. Um, around this time, I normally give Peter a ring because it's seven o'clock UK time then and uh, chew his ear off. But obviously with it being Saturday, I thought I'd give him a bit of a break. <laughs> um, just a quick update on the kitchen with the tiles. because It's not just the kitchen actually that we need tiles for. It's kitchen, bathroom and a bit in between, I suppose. Um, little vestibule hallway. Not too sure really what you'd call it. Yeah, so I've been looking for tiles and um, I have noticed how much the tiles have actually gone up. Well, it must be the same all over in the UK and here in Spain as well. Um, yeah, they've kind of gone up. So a little bit shocked. <laughs> At the moment, there's a few sales on. The English do love their sales. Um, so yeah, I have found some. I'm hoping to stick the three that I've whittled it down to coming up next. Um, they will be labelled ABC. If you have a preference, because as I say, nothing's been ordered. I think I doubt will be ordered for a little while. Um, then just pop it in the comments below which ones you actually preferred. Um, obviously Peter has his favourites. I've got mine and um, yeah, so we shall uh, let's see what the general consensus is. But yeah, so that's that's fun. Um, Peter and Zoe are getting on with with the um, with the work and everything at the house there, so it's cool. But I will let them catch you up on everything. Okay, the ceiling's basically done now. We've got to go over it uh, one more time. There's some little fine holes in it still that need that need uh, filling. Um, so we're going to get on with that. Let's um, just go over it once once more to get it perfect. Okay, I've come into the garden. I can't really see much from up here, but I'm actually going to start clearing out many of the dead things um, are in the beds. 
this in here and drag it out because that's a weed. We've got a few dead bits and pieces and things like that. So start this end, I think I've got two or three up this end by the car and then I'll head back down the other end. I may well need the bigger, the bigger one of these. So we'll see, but I'll start with this end first. Under the sun. I haven't gone that far and it feels like I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, one plant um, I thought was dead, actually some of the branches don't snap so I've cut it right back, I'll give it some water once the sun's off it this evening. Hello dogs, hello, <laughs> hello darlings, um, yeah give it some water this evening and just keep an eye on it really just keep watering it and see how it goes hey babies hey no um yeah so i'm gonna carry on down see where i get to i know that the yuccas will need doing we've got quite a few of those don't fancy doing that today i will need to be suited booted padded you name it because they can be quite nasty little plants so yeah I will keep going down. There's a little bit of weed in here. I don't know if they're not their weeds, whether or not it's actually plants. So I'll go and investigate. But yeah, I'll keep moving down this side wall. Okay, the ceiling is basically done, ready to be just we'll get some fine sandpaper um, to smooth it down before we paint it. Sally did have a couple of questions about you know, why we use smaller pieces of plasterboard. Basically, we used half sheet plasterboard, so it fits in the it fits in the car. It's easier to manage, easier to put up. Yeah, you do have a little bit more compound to put on the wall, as you can see. Um, but it's manageable and it gets the job done. We put plasterboard over the existing old fashioned Artex and just fixed it to the beams across where you can just see, you might just be able to see some of the lines. She also asked why these little dots here as well like these little dots basically that's the compound going over the screws the screws that are fixed to the seat fixed the uh, plasterboard to the ceiling have to be filled as well so all the little dots are covering a screw and then the rest is covering the the boards where the boards join together um, and yeah that's 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 basically it it's just it's as simple as that we could have used the big the big sheets, but they're they're really hard work to, to manage. And you need a van to, to carry them. So it's it's just the way I do it here in UK. Slightly different way of doing um, plastering and ceilings and walls, etc., than Spain. But it works. Um, so yeah, tomorrow is Monday and we're gonna start preparing this, rubbing the ceiling down and the walls, a light rub down, ready for painting. That's the next stage in this room. Okay. Um, this is hopefully gonna get done this morning because this morning is Sunday morning. Excuse the silly hat, the glasses and the coat. It is a bit cold, but I don't think it's really this coat worthy cold, but I am actually going to start working on one of the yuccas so I'm trying to I don't know what it's called suit and boot myself um yeah um but so yes but before I do that I must just treat this cacti over here 
because the poor little thing has got the white fluffy cotton candy sort of white fluffy stuff on it i'll try and get a picture of it so i'm just going to give it a bit of a spray and uh try and save it because the other one doesn't look good i have to admit so i think that one may be going um but yeah i'd really like to save this one because i do i love these cacti so yep let me get on with this stop leathering away and then i will go over to the first oh my gosh why is my brain not working do you know what it's not even early um the spiky thing over there that but it's not a cacti This is basically only um, washing up liquid and water. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that for a little bit, then I'm gonna come back and I will wash everything off with, um, I may well use the rainwater actually, rather than tap water. Rainwater just to get everything off. And then, yeah, I think I'll need to make some more, but I will need to, do this again apparently this kills whatever's on the leaves and hopefully will save the plant if not there's not a lot else i can do so i don't want to use pesticides because of the dogs and because of the environment so yeah let's head over to the oh yuccas yuccas that's what they're called let's head over to the yuccas right this is the yucca i've chosen to start with it looks like a beast but it is the first one in the in the great big lot i'm trying to think how many you've got one two three four five six is that seven down there oh, i think we might have seven but i am going to start with this one now i'm hoping this is not how i die it's very going to be very embarrassing if i die dressed like this um to be impaled on one of these things i know they're really sharp and they can in in all seriousness they can actually cause problems with eyes so i've got my glasses on got uh, my hat on to hopefully protect my head and my ears um i've done the coat right up it's, the, the sun is actually really starting to come out now so i need to get on with this um, i'm going to pop it onto time lapse because you really don't need to hear any of my language if i do get stabbed so yeah see you the other side hopefully see you the other side <laughs> If you can see this but i've done one i don't know if that's high enough or not let's try and get that in I'm not really too sure but um it's one down and about another 10 or 20 to go in this one <laughs> in this one in this one probably turn around this way because i've got the sun in my eyes um in this one plant um <sighs> the sun is really starting to get hot now as well so I could go behind the plant for now and try and do a little bit more. I think I'd like to because um, I don't want to give up on just one stem. So I'm going to try and get into the shade and see what I can do. But can I just say now, this coat, the hat and the glasses did seriously save me from some of those ends of the fronds. So that's cool. But I'm going to try and get behind the plant now and do it from in there. Um, it is getting really hot actually 
out here now. Um, I am still in the shade, but I'm a bit concerned that the dogs are, are out. They tend to like to be where I only really take these off just for a minute. That is just someone going past the gate and Lobo's part Mastin. It's his job to protect, so he's barking. Um, I have also stopped. I don't think what I'm going to show you next is live, but let me just let me just show you. Right, just in there. Now, it actually looks to me a little bit like a, a, a bee's nest. It must be old. There's nothing in there. There's nothing flying in and out. Um, but it did frighten me when I saw it. So, um, but th th there's, there's nothing wet in there. I can't see anything coming in and out. So I don't know how long it's been since these have ever been cut, but there are so many, so, so many. And I was hoping to get one done today. And in all honesty, that's not gonna happen. There's just no way. There's just no way. I have a blister on my thumb already and I've hardly ever started. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so optimistic when I start these things. <laughs> I, will, I will continue on with the last one I'm doing and then I'll, I'll tidy up and um, th this is gonna take me a while. So, I have to come out a little bit later once it's not so warm um, and try and start the other side but I'm going to finish as much as I can this side yeah I'll show you the end result because yeah all right ah, let's go power through power through I'm going to pull my big girl pants up is it big girl knickers no it's big girl pants I'm going to pull my big girl pants up now right under the armpits let's go okay I did carry on. My thumb is now really bleeding where the blister was. Um, I hope you can see roughly what it is I'm actually trying to achieve. I don't know, but th this is one half of the, of the thing. I'm still dressed up to the nines. I'm absolutely sweating like there's no tomorrow. And I've still got all this to do and it's still the first one. I am gonna stop now because I've now got to try and get this, all of this, into one bag. I think I might have been being a little bit optimistic there. But hey, you need a little bit of optimism in this life. had a shower, a very long hot shower. Um, I have to be honest, <sighs> doing that last bit of um, wool and everything, it, 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 it did get to me. It did get to me. Um, I did end up in tears. I spoke to Peter, who very kindly <laughs> left the left the DIY shop he was in in England and sat in the car so uh, I could have my meltdown in relative private with him um, yeah I guess not everything is honeysuckle and roses I wish it was um, I think to be honest what started as um, going out and doing the yuccas and not really knowing what I was doing and the one person who I would actually love to talk to about it all is no longer here because my dad is, was a fantastic guy. 
gardener. He grew yuccas from seed. He'd be able to tell me exactly what to do with them. Um, and then it escalated to the, <laughs> the ceiling, um, the coving and everything, not wanting to come down in the front room. It was stuck. I don't know. That they must have used all the product on that bit and then not put so much on the rest. Um, hit my hand a few times. I've actually pulled skin off and bruised my knuckles and everything. Don't know what you guys can. Um, but tomorrow's another day. It's not going to defeat me. The yuck is not going to defeat me. The ceiling's not going to defeat me. I just think for today, I've done what I needed to do. Now I just need to sit and I want to say thank you all for watching the vlogs. Um, hello to all our new subscribers. Things aren't normally this heavy. Just having a particularly pooey day today. But yeah. So yeah, it's not been the whole week. The whole week has flown by. And um, yeah, so this vlog is hope you enjoy it and Peter will be sorting out some other bits and pieces come next week I think he's still finding his feet there to be fair so yeah we shall keep going so I say thank you guys so much for staying with us and hello to all your newbies and anything it's lovely to have you on board and uh, yeah we will be back Thursday I lost a lot of fluids wearing that coat doing, doing the yucca. But cheers, guys. Thanks ever so much. And uh, we will see you next time. I know Peter's not here to say it, but we will see you.